Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! I almost felt like saying Terra Enigma for some reason. Ah, uh, maybe wishful thinking. But anyway, last time, we got a new GF that I equipped on Irvine there, the Tonberry GF. It's a very nice GF, has some very good abilities like level up and level down. Like those two, what they do is they, well, raise or decrease an enemy's level. So that increases the, well, maybe not increases the odds, but it changes the items that you can win or steal from them or the spells that you can even draw from them. And Tonberry has some very interesting other abilities too, like uh, Familiar lets you buy rarer items that you normally wouldn't have access to or lowers prices. There's another ability that Tonberry will get that I want to go for as quickly as possible called Call Shop, which lets you summon any shop. I don't know if it's any shop in the game or if it's any shop uh, that you visited, I forget. But uh, it essentially lets you summon any shop from any location. So that's pretty nice, especially on disc four. So let's see. Um, ah, there we go. That's where I want to go. Well, I suppose there's no real reason for me to need to go here, but I figured I'd just show this little place off. Let's take a look around here. Hmm. Why would that place look familiar to you? Uh, Squall? I can't read the text when you're moving. There we go. Huh. Well, that's weird. I wonder why the place is a run down. Well, you know, I don't want to say any more without spoiling it. I know why, but... Well, we'll go through that later. Okay, but anyway, the real reason why I came over here... If I can land... There we go. Is to check out this Chocobo's Forest. Apparently, I'm going through all the hard chocobo forests first, but, you know, it's just because I'm, well, I'm in the area. And besides, it'll give better examples for me to explain how you're supposed to go through these forests. So, first things first, like before, choose a choco zonar, walk around, and wait for it to go crazy. That's where you know you found some chocobos, or baby chocobos. Use the choco zonar, and you'll summon some of those baby chocobos, or, well, draw them out, I guess. Now, the mother chocobo won't show up if there's multiples of them. So what you want to do is find another point where the choco sonar will go crazy like that. Use choco zinar in that spot to either draw out more chocobos or it might scare some of them away. And you got to find different spots all over the forest and do it in different combinations until you find the right combination that will get you one chocobo left or one baby chocobo left. So if you do this in the specific spots that I am, the way I'm doing it, then hopefully you will end up with one chocobo left and the mother chocobo will come out. Hooray! Yeah, it's kind of annoying to do without a walkthrough. I don't know how you're supposed to do this without a walkthrough. Heck, I can't do it. It's just way too annoying. But anyway, use Choco Zynar where the Choco Sonar goes crazy with the mother chocobo and you'll find some hidden treasure. In this forest, we get a meteor, flare, and ultima stone. All right. Thanks for your stones, Choco Boy. But yeah, that's everything we can do in this forest here. So now let's head east to the next Chocobo forest. I'll do all the Chocobo forests soon enough. Okay, yeah, let's just get off. Thank you. Uh, can I get on? Let me in! No. No. Just kidding. Uh, but I do want to go east. East, where do we go? By the way, in the last episode when I was fighting all those Tonberries, I was just using Demi just to, you know, play remotely fair. Like, for those people who don't like using Limit Breaks or whatever like that. But, at, but anyway, with the Demis there, you do want to hold on to them for later, so don't discard them, even though I hardly ever use them in in normal battles because you'll want to save them for a certain cousin of the Iron Man if you know what I mean am I going in the right direction it's got to be around oh there it is yeah I saw Iron Man 2 in the theaters recently that was pretty good not quite as great as the first one but it was still pretty good you know it kept the same formula which a lot of sequels don't do a lot of them just feel like oh well it's new we gotta completely change it like Final Fantasy does nowadays 
you know, but at least Iron Man, you know, it kept the same formula, didn't try to screw around with it too much. Kind of like the uh, Bourne movies, you know, Bourne Supremacy and Ultimatum, you know. It was basically the same movie three times over, but at least to me, I really liked each of them, even though they were all pretty much the same, you know. It's just, you know, especially in superhero movies, you know, the, uh, you know, they just get so depressing because they're, like, dealing with their responsibilities and their powers and everything like that or something like that. Like, Spider-Man 2 was just the worst like that. You know, like, his aunt was going through a foreclosure or something. It was like, I don't care about that. I, I empathize with the situation, but, I mean, I don't want to see that in a superhero movie. If I wanted to, you know, hear about that, I, I'd watch the news or something. You know, I wouldn't watch Spider-Man 2 to hear something like that, you know? And it didn't have anything to do with the story, either. Apparently, finding money here has something to do with the story. Okay, so anyway, the reason why I was dicking around here uh, in the desert here was because I'm trying to find a UFO. Oh, there it is. It's some weird hover thing. What the hell is that? Some of you were asking me about that earlier. H.C. Bailey, I saw this weird hovering thing flying around here. What is that? Well, it's for the UFO side quest, which I'll be doing soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Uh, you can find it even with Encounter None equipped. So that's kind of nice. So basically just walk around where, you know, you're going to find the UFO. One of them is here in the uh, Kashkabal Desert. So there we are. And there's different locations around the world where you can also meet up with the UFO in order to do more parts of the side quest there. I'll explain more about that side quest later on. We can't even do all the parts of the side quests for that right now, but essentially what you gotta do is just find the UFO in different regions of the world. But for right now, we can't do all of it. I just figured, hey, as long as we're in the area, might as well at least do the first part. Let's see now, the Chocobo Forest that I'm looking for is right over here. There we go. I don't know why my voice does that every now and then, like, secret treasure. I, I don't know. I, I can't say it normally. Secret treasure. I, I, I can't do it. Uh, my voice just, it just goes wherever it wants to go. I don't have much control over it, much like my brain. Okay, so in this forest, we got uh, five different spots in this one. This one's a little tricky. Uh, let's see, let's start down here. Did I get one? No. No, we got two. Okay, so this one is kind of like in a uppercase N formation. Let's see. We want to go somewhere in this area. Now, the re areas where you can use the Choco Zion are... Oh. oh. Okay, I guess I got it wrong. Let's try that again. Okay, start down here. I thought it was up here. Then somewhere around here. There we go. Okay, found it. It's up there. We got two spots on our left there. It's a little tricky. Okay, did we do that spot? Then I think there's a spot over here somewhere. There we go. Use the Toko Zainar. Okay, and then I think there's only one more. There we go. Okay, now if we do this correctly, then... Oh. Oh, right. We gotta do one more spot. There's one right in the center here. There we go. And I think this'll do that. All right! We only got one Chocobo left. So, uh, where's, uh, Mother Chocobo? Lady? Dude? Hey! Come back here! Oh, there it is. Okay. No, no, just kidding. I knew that was going to happen. So, yeah, you do that in those five in that order, and you'll get the Mother Chocobo. Hooray! Oh, man, I wish I had videos like these back in the day when I was playing the game. It took me forever to find these things the first time I was playing the game. It just, uh, you just got to do it in the right order, and it's just really, it can get really annoying sometimes. Okay, so anyway, in this Chocobo Forest, we get a Meteor, a Holy, and an Ultima Stone. All right. Okay, well, that's everything we can do for this side quest, so let's go and find some of the other Chocobos in the other Chocobo Forests. 
next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. Where's my garden? Oh, I'll just meet you back there.